Hi, everyone. Welcome to the podcast today. I am Shelby Jo Long. I am Senior Vice President of the Strategic Advisor Board and CEO of Business Dynamics. And I love hosting podcasts because I have the opportunity to talk with some of the most amazing entrepreneurs out there that have taken their genius and transformed that into a business. And today I have the opportunity to speak with someone that has this business that is just growing and discovering opportunities and thinking about things in different ways and really stepping into a leadership role in this position. And this today we have the opportunity to talk to Tamara Robertson with Ag Tech LLC. And there are many pieces involved in that. I'm going to let her talk about that. But even before we get into the conversation, I'm just going to share a little bit about Tamara and I and our mutual experiences. I also grew up on a farm in central Idaho. She's out here in Montana. And there are just so many fun similarities when we have conversations. It just makes me think about home and growing up. And it's just been really fun for me to be in this project with her. And I just look forward to having discovering more about that and helping you discover more about that because there's really interesting and genius ways that we can think about what we have and how we can influence others. So Tamara, welcome to the podcast. Thank you, Shelby. I appreciate you having me today. <laughs> That's very exciting that you're here. Um, I, I could talk about this stuff all day long, but I want you, I would like you, if you could just introduce your business and your multiple arms of the business to the audience, that would be great. Yeah. So I am the founder of Egg Talk Coffee. Um, it's really a brand that is based around empowering women in rural and agricultural businesses. And it's a hope that we can influence them and show them um, how to really be um, innovative in their business and how to add income streams to their business and how to, you know, add leveraging techniques that will just help to grow their business. Um, that's really what Egg Talk Coffee is about, is just empowering women in agriculture like myself. I, um, a little bit, I guess, about me is that I grew up in Montana on a ranch and um, after going off to college and doing that whole thing, getting a job and, you know, trying to do the nine to five for a long time, I realized that it's really more of an entrepreneur lifestyle that I'm looking for. And um, that really led me into um, trying to discover the potential that our ranch has. And we're still in that process, of course, but um, we went through a lot of restructuring and trying to just be innovative with what we could offer and what um, that really kind of looked like. We brought in um, new ways of farming on our place that have never been done before. We now um, are farming flowers, actually. And so, yeah, so we have um, flower subscriptions and we've actually introduced, you know, jumped into the wedding scene. So we are um, bringing our fresh cut flowers to weddings. And then we also um, do different special events, um, funerals and birthdays and anniversaries and stuff. But transitioning our ranch from a more traditional, um, we grew wheat, winter wheat, spring wheat, things like that, to then um, really stopping and looking at what is it that we want out of this ranch and what can our days look like, you know, instead of um, going nine to five through the day and then coming home and doing the ranch thing all night long and trying to get a couple hours of sleep and maybe grab a meal in there somewhere. Um, you know, we really had to stop and say, this is what we want our days to look like. And we need to figure out how we can make that happen. Um, and so that's really what we've been working on and transitioning um, to bring to our ranch is, you know, 
more of a structure that we want. We want our ranch to work for us versus us just being kind of a slave to the ranch. And now with um, Egg Talk Coffee and the Egg Talk brand, we are trying to bring that to others as well to kind of show them, you know, bring out that entrepreneurial spirit to others and show them that things are possible and um, they can do it too. Sure. Absolutely. Gosh, there's a lot there to unpack, but no, I yes. point out a few things just to, um, I just think there's such an amazing, like you're embracing the entrepreneurial spirits. You're trying, encouraging others to be innovative. You have been innovative yourself with the flowers and the coffee and all these different income streams that you have. And I just think to myself, I think of the, the life back on the ranch and it's been a while since I've been off the ranch. Mm-hmm. I haven't been there in a while, but it's, <laughs> It's, it's not a nine to five thing. It's like, and you never get a vacation. You, right. There's always something to do. There's always some land to work or there's some cattle to feed or there's, there's always something to do. And I remember my dad would never be able to step away or take a vacation because it's a lot to take care of. Right. And so it's right. something that you have to be there all the time. And yeah. so I think that's, for me, it was something that I thought about too. I was like, I don't, I don't know if I want to, never have a vacation and always be tied to the ranch. That's, that's something that's hard. But as you show and the conversation that you're starting to have is that you don't have to be stuck in that. You can find other opportunities to go with that. So I don't know how familiar our audience is with what a farming life is and what that (laughs) means and what that looks like. And to really, cause you are Mm -hmm. an entrepreneur as a farmer, Mm -hmm. but don't have the freedom that entrepreneurs really enjoy. So, right. Exactly. And that's really what I'm trying to change. Um, you know, I was told when I was, um, looking into buying our ranch that there were better options with my money, there are better investments to do. And, you know, it really just sparked a fire (laughs) and I was like, Nope, Nope, this is it. I am going to buy this ranch and it is going to work for me and I'm going to show people how to do it and I'm going to make it work. So I just really want to, you know, continue that. I really feel that farmers and ranchers are true entrepreneurs and, you know, the vulnerability that they have and the um, markets that are so up and down and, you know, all the variables that go along with it, they have to be very um, innovative in the way that they think and what they're planting and how they raise their cattle. And so to really hone in on their entrepreneurship and the give them tools to kind of access that themselves and um, start making the ranch life work for them and having it, you know, I don't want it to be seen as, well, there's better opportunities. Like I'm trying, I'm here to say it is still alive. And, you know, I just want to show people that it's all right to dig deeper roots and really um, kind of stand your ground in those rural and egg businesses because there are options for them. So absolutely. And I think there's, I think there's options that we don't even think about, which is what your whole business is about is trying to explore different opportunities. And, Mm -hmm. and also while, while taking advantage of technology, like we have the ability to talk to people all over the country and all over the world. I mean, this is a, this is people, agriculture exists everywhere. What are those Mm -hmm. opportunities? How can we realize those opportunities? So it definitely ties into your background and your identity and your whole brand is around what are those opportunities of agriculture. So that's, uh, that's something that's really, really cool. So let's, let's talk about some of those opportunities. So you talked a little bit about the flower shop, but the, can you talk more about some, some things that you're thinking of and things that are on the horizon? Yeah, so we, of course, just launched Egg Talk Coffee, Mm -hmm. and so our high-quality coffee products are available to anyone and everyone. Um, There's 
Um, tons of options around the United States to buy coffee, but with this, you're really supporting the empowerment of women in agriculture and business. Um, you know, I kind of focus on that just because I am that. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I see other women who are trying so hard to make it and I just have so much passion for them and um, really, really want this to be a driving, you know, influence to um, just continue their journey and to not be afraid of it. Um, that's really what a Egg Talk Coffee is about that. Um, we also are, I am, I guess, a part of the Montana Agritourism Fellowship Program. And um, agritourism is really another um, great option for people who are looking to diversify their farm or add extra income and um, look at different ways that they can use their expertise to generate revenue on their ranches or farms um, in particular, because people, you know, they're looking for those experiences and people who maybe don't live in our setting, you know, they really still want access. Everybody does. And now with today's technology and stuff, we can really bring that um, to life and bring that to them. So um, I'm excited to really continue that um, journey as well. And um, yeah, I think there's so many options out there that we're exploring. Right. So. <laughs> and your flower business for sure. And your that has taken on a life of its own. So yes. 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 Yeah, it's really wonderful. It's been, you know, a couple of years in the making, um, the flowers, and we've done so well. Our community has just really jumped on board with the fresh cut flowers. And um, we have a few different venues around our side of the state that um the awareness is increasing and so people are really kind of catching on that fresh cut flowers are pretty wonderful so yeah with the access and stuff we've been able to partner with different businesses and bring in um you know a little bit extra revenue and foot traffic to their to their businesses along with supporting our business and so it's really um been a great community builder, you know, it, it really, um, just brings together everybody and who doesn't love getting fresh flowers. So, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think you touched on something that's really important about, well, entrepreneurship in general, but just an agriculture too, that you, agriculture doesn't exist in a vacuum. Like you're connected to so many different things, whether it's a distributor or whether it is a salesperson and, you know, it's connected to all these different pieces and, yeah. and that in itself is that I think that's a challenge for a lot of entrepreneurs is that you build this thing and yeah. you want to, you want it to be successful, but you can't build it here and expect you have to create partnerships and understand that connections and relationships are really important. Yeah. To building. Yes, yes, like, exactly. And, and at our ranch, you know, I am, um, very, like the sole provider. And so I um, really have to rely on delegating, you know, a lot of what I do. And so it's been wonderful that the community has supported, um, you know, bringing my flowers into their shops and um, working on building those relationships and how it will, you know, really do benefit for both of us. And, um, kind of that exchange, you know, just making sure everybody is happy with the exchange and um, it, it just builds that trust and the, the connection. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Can you, can you, I, I know what's behind the scenes because I've been talking to you, but can you talk a little <laughs> bit about this, this program, this idea, this kind of ag consulting program that you're starting to think about and what, what does that look like to you? And what kind of, what kind of thoughts do you want to inspire with that? Yeah. So I really love the idea, of course, of empowering women in agriculture and in business. 
And that is a lot of what these courses that I'm working on are um, focused on. So I truly feel there are three pillars to really making um, a good, uh, solid business based around what you want and um, where you want to go and then being true to yourself. So self-awareness, of course, is a huge um, beginning step in what we're looking at and just understanding, you know, just like I did, you know, what do I want my days to look like and how is this going to be ran and is it going to be me or do I have other things going on? So just understanding that self-awareness of, who you are and your story and not being afraid to run with it and understanding um, that aspect. And then the, another pillar is just mastery, mastering. Once you figure out who you are and what you want your days to look at, look like, then mastering that um, next step into what, what am I going to do to make that happen? Um, and, and moving forward, you know, making very decisive business. I want to give them very decisive business techniques that will help them to master um, what that self-awareness looks like. And then with that, just giving them a pathway of understanding um, the kind of that leads back to passion. You know, what is, what are you passionate about? And, um, how can we bring that to life and how does that look for your family and your business and your friends and just getting it all wrapped into one. So right. yes, that's, that's really the pillars of my program that I'm working on. <laughs> yeah. I think there are so many facets to it, but then it's so inspirational too, because you look for many different ways adapted to the person and your, your audience, like there, there are people that want to stay on their ranch, but mm -hmm. don't really know if it's worthwhile investment because prices yeah. are down. Yeah. But there are many different other ways to conceptualize it. And I think it's a real st stepping into the role of a thought leader in that area, I think is really key because people don't think that stepping into ranching is going to be something that's going to make them sustainable money because right. of prices, but right. now they're thinking about it differently is, mm -hmm. is a way that we can. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And I'm so excited about it too, because, you know, I've done it my way and that's, that's worked for me. And I'm not here to figure out a bunch more. This is what I now do what I do. I want to really help people focus on what they want and show them the opportunities that are available and just give them the empowerment to do it Absolutely. and to, you know, you know, this is what works for them. They, can, they have the knowledge. They just got to do it. Absolutely. <laughs> you Absolutely. are the right person to guide you them. You are the right person to guide them. So Tamara, can you tell, uh, so can you tell our audience, um, so you have stepped into entrepreneurship. Can you tell our audience, uh, that you have some advice to people our audience about to creating a business and stepping into entrepreneurship tell our audience something that you can recommend to them? Yeah, no, I think absolutely the um, advice I would give to entrepreneurs is to not be afraid to start. Um, definitely get going. You have this idea and offer it and run with it. After that point, you can pivot and change and adjust for your market but the fact that you're nervous to start is just going to delay any success that you, you know, are going to find. And um, don't be afraid to fail, really. You know, go out there and, with your idea and see if it works. And if it doesn't, be like, okay, well, let's move on to the next and just keep going. That's, that's really what I, 
I encourage everyone who's, you know, looking for that entrepreneurial journey to start or even just creating a business, um, you know, just get started, implement your idea, bring it to life and go with it from there, adjust from there and and you won't you won't go wrong you know you'll you'll find what you need or learn what you need to learn and everything will you know continue so definitely don't be afraid <laughs> don't be afraid and often it's just that taking that first step into it yeah. and and realizing the opportunities of it and then being in a community that's surrounded that can help with that vision i think those mm-hmm. are things. So that's a good piece of advice for any entrepreneur and particularly for, towards the ag entrepreneurs that we have, especially women in ag that are, that are balancing 15 different things and kids and ranch life and all these businesses. It's a lot, but don't good. be afraid because you're not going to discover it until you actually do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Tamara, where can our audience find you if they want to reach out? Yeah. So eggtalkcoffee.com. You can go check that out and help empower women in rural and agricultural businesses. You can also um, look into our ranch at www.atwanderingacres.com. Um, I'm also on social media. So you can find me at her egg talk on Instagram and our ranch is on Facebook at wandering acres. We also have a Facebook uh, and Instagram page for egg talk coffee. So everybody can reach out there. Great. I'll have, I'll get all of those links and put them in the, in okay. the chat so people can find you so they can support your coffee business, support anything else and be on the lookout for your program that's coming out very, very soon. So. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Well, Tamara, it's always so inspiring to talk to audience members that have really created a business out of their passion because it helps inspire our audience to think a little bit differently about their ideas and their passion and are they at a point where they they can make a business out of what they're really passionate about and what can really right. fulfill their lives and talking to people like you help inspire that so thank you for sharing your story yes thank you so much for having me <laughs> of course and listeners we'll see you next time when we talk to another inspiring genius entrepreneur to inspire you to take the next step in your business see you next time <laughs>